welcome back guys and if you're new here thanks for watching in this video i am going to go over a very beginner friendly and easy way to make infused oils without wasting too much and without having to use the um the cloth the cheese cloth to strain your items so it makes the process so much easier and much more convenient so if you're interested in that keep watching the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and weigh out your dried herbs so this for this one i'm making infused lavender oil but this could be any dried herbs of your choice it could be calendula which is one of my favorite herbs to infuse you can use calendula you can do rose you can do hibiscus but for this video we are doing lavender buds so we're going to weigh out our lavender buds i used about 2.5 cups of lavender buds i decided to just go ahead and place these buds in my mason jar this is what i usually infuse my oils in i infuse it in my mason jar and then once my infusion once i have my desired amount of lavender buds inside the jar i go ahead and start adding the oil on top of the lavender buds what i usually do is put enough oils to cover the lavender buds but not too much that lavender birds start to rise i accidentally did this this time so the lavender birds this did lift I ended up adding about 12 ounce of oil let's say 12 13 ounce of um oil inside of it which was still a little bit over what i should have added however it did the job once i completed that i covered my mason jar i sealed it the next thing you want to do is go ahead and grab your double boiler or crock pot my method my my choice of equipment is a crock pot you use this to gently heat your your herbs on very low heat because you don't want to fry or like kind of burn your herbs so that's this is why i use a crock pot method because i can leave my my jar in there with my herbs for a long period of time without it burning I had to add water to my crock pot twice within the 48 hours to keep it heated and this did the job once the oil is cooled you want to go ahead and you know remove it from your double boiler gently and i usually stir it just to kind of mix the herbs with the oil before i separate it now some people might say you know don't put anything inside it because you don't want it to go bad even quicker but this is for me so that's why i'm using it i want to stir it up because i did put a little more oil so it had some oil at the bottom when it should just be just a little bit over but i ended up pouring a little bit more but you know that's fine and that's that's why hence why i'm mixing this around so when i pour i can evenly pour it out i do don't i don't mind my lavender buds inside my jar when i'm using it but i know some people want to separate it instead of us getting a cloth a cheesecloth or strainer or anything like that because i feel like sometimes when you use a cheesecloth you're probably wasting some of the oil and in addition to that when you get a strainer i just don't want to waste it and when i really think about it no matter which way you do it you're going to waste a little bit of it but i prefer to use this way that i'm going to show you right now here is our magic device it's a french coffee press and it is amazing i use it when i infuse um coffee when i make infused coffee oil so, you know, doing body scrubs and to put under your eye, I use it for any one of my infusions. Even the coffee, the coffee is great, but any one of in my infusions, I use this piece of equipment or tool or whatever it is to separate my products, my loose herbs from my oil. It's much cleaner for me, much easier. And I, you know, I get more out of the product that way rather than putting it in a cheesecloth. This is just for me, my, this is my, you know, personal thing and when i used to make infused oil for my business i would also try to use this as well but i didn't infuse oil for much longer so the french coffee press has it has a three layer system inside of it it has the mesh the mesh in the middle to separate the to strain the the oil from the buds it has a, a spiral top above it to secure it and also a metal bottom piece to keep that mesh in the middle secure so that it doesn't move especially when you're pushing down on it in order to separate the oil from the buds the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and pour in our infused carrier oil inside our french coffee coffee press to begin the separation we're going to make sure that all of our infused oil completely fills well fills it up to an extent okay so now that all of our 
infused oil is in our french press we're going to go ahead and put the top on and push it down oh look at that look at the separation happening quick one two. Ooh, not bad. look at that look at that and as i push it down further it presses i just keep pushing on it and it just presses and presses and it literally separates but you see how it's not going any further down that means it it went as low as it can go because of the amount of lavender buds inside of it but what i'll do is pour some of this out then i'll be able to push pour some of this out maybe take some of the lavender out and then i'll be able to push some more out of it so i get to strain it as much as possible this is what it looks like once it's separated perfect buds at the bottom oil on the top it doesn't get any better and any easier than this the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and create our essential oil plus vitamin e oil blend the vitamin E oil helps to sh extend the shelf life of our infused carrier oil. As a result, I'm going to go ahead and add it in at 1%. My bottle that I am using is 8 ounces. However, if we fill it up to exactly 8 ounces, if we fill it up to exactly 8 ounces, once I put the cover on, some of it will start to spring up. So even though it is an 8 ounce bottle, I have to put a little less than 8 ounces. So we're going to go ahead and do this for 7 ounces. 7 ounce is actually 198 grams. 1% of 7 ounce is 0 0.07 ounce. So as a result, that is equivalent to 1.9 grams. We're going to go ahead and round it up to 2 grams. Once we add in all these ingredients, once we add in these both of these ingredients, we're going to go ahead and mix it together and pour it into our bottle of carrier oil blend. Now with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and add in my separated that we have here, the separated oil that we created here of my separated infused lavender oil. And I just wanted to point out that this also has it has a strainer on the spout as well. So they're making sure that nothing gets inside. Okay, so let's go ahead and pour this in. And just to be clear, you guys could do this through a funnel. I have a bit of a steady hand sometimes, so I don't use a funnel. And once again, I don't want to waste any. I don't want none catch on the funnel. Like I want everything. So hence why I'm doing it this way. But if you have like a fear of some of it falling down or, you know, running down the side spilling definitely opt for a funnel to save yourself the waste but this seems like it's about to fill up the entire eight ounce okay look at that uh -uh. that's 7.6 ounce that's not even that's not even a full eight ounce okay guys i did go ahead and pour out some of it because when i put in my vitamin e oil also when i put in my pump I need space if it's filled all the way to the top once i add those things and i put the pump in it's going to be way too much so let me let me just just to be safe let me pour out some more okay i think that should be that should be that ah, just a little more <laughs> that should be good all right so that should be good for now now i'm going to go ahead and pour in my vitamin e and essential oil mixture So the next thing I want to add is that I actually want some of the buds inside of it. It might seem weird, but I don't know. I just like how it looks with the bud inside of it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get some of the bud inside of it. Don't know how much of it I'm going to get inside of it, but we're going to see. When you're finished, this is how you want it to look. Like there's not much oil running out of it because before when I turned it to the side, you saw oil running out of it. Now there's barely any oil running out of it. I'm pretty sure if I put it down for a while, they might sell this a bit of oil, but there's like barely any oil running out of it. You know, it seems like most of it was pressed out of it. This is how the herb looks. If you notice it before, it, would, it did look very moist, but you can tell that it was pressed properly to the point that most of the oil came out but i'm pretty sure because i didn't get to the bottom there's oil at the bottom so that's what i'm going to separate out of this right now all right so i do have some more left over so what i'm going to do as i mentioned about the buds i want to get as much of the um 
I want to get as much of the oil out before I go in and start touching it up to take out the buds. Okay guys, so that got me six ounce. So that was six ounce that was left in there. Six ounce worth of oil. I do need to add some vitamin E and some essential oil to this. I will make that blend. You saw the blender I made earlier. I'm gonna make some of that. I'm gonna add it to this. Okay guys. Okay, so both my containers, my bottles are filled. This one has lavender buds inside of it. This one does not. I might put some inside of it, who knows. Carefully you know. squeezing it out because it's oil. There it goes, there's my baby. And go ahead and rub it in. This oil feels pretty good on the skin. Oh my gosh, yes, I say it feels good on the skin. And also with the benefits of having um, lavender infused oil inside of it, whoo, baby. You won't regret it. It has tea tree oil inside it and it's vitamin E oil. So it's like your at home vitamin E oil with a little extra kick to it right this is how this is how i'd make my vitamin e oil sometimes and sometimes if i just want to make regular vitamin e oil i just add vitamin e oil with with um you know plain old carrier oil but this whew, increases the benefits of the oil it feels so good on my hand oh my gosh look at that oh one more thing i wanted to point out when i before i infused this oil it was clear because it was fractionated coconut oil and look how it looks now after it was infused so once the infusion was done the color changed completely it took the color out of buds i thought it would be purple but it's not <laughs> and here you go there you have it infused oil thanks for watching my video if you like what you see here definitely go ahead and watch one of my other videos that's recommended if you're interested in to get to see more of my videos like share and subscribe to support the channel thank you